Hey everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play project. A game that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now, actually. But I never really got around to it until now. It's a series that I really played a lot when I was younger, when it first came out. But welcome to Let's Play Chibi Robo for the GameCube. But yeah, if you don't know what Chibi Robo is, it's basically the adventures of a tiny little robot in a big house and all his adventures. Also cleaning. Lots and lots of cleaning. But yeah, unfortunately the series kind of died out after the DS era. There was a 3DS game, but it kind of sucked, so we're not going to talk about that. Instead, we're going to get started. Actually, before we get started, let me check my options real quick. Never mind, there are no options. Alright, might as well get started then. Also, another thing about Chibi Robo that isn't really apparent from the title screen, but it's weird. It's very, very weird in all the best ways. Also, everyone basically speaks Simlish. She looks like an Animal Crossing character with that on. But yeah, that's Jenny. She's a frog. She's also 8 right now, even though she looks a lot bigger than 8. There's Tal the dog. He's a good boy. Like all dogs. And then, yep, we have Jenny's mom and dad. I forget if we actually learned their first names in this game. But yeah, we've all done that before. We just bought someone else a present that we actually want. Also, yeah, apparently I forgot I came with a light show, but there he is, man of the hour. Well, robot of the hour. Forgot that I started with a light show, but say hello to Chibi Robo. He's tiny. He's very tiny. And he is the best little robot ever. Also, yep, that's Telme. We're gonna be hearing a lot from Telme because Chibi Robo can't talk. They kind of forgot to build him a mouth. Listen, we don't need to find them a present. I am the present. Mm, nah, you know what? Let's give her a turkey instead. Turkeys say more than flowers, right? 
Nah. But yeah, Chibi Robo can only say yes and no. He doesn't really say them so much as just use signs. But no, this is a but thou must situation. So yep, we'll get that flower for Jenny. Alright, time for a quick tutorial about controls. So yeah, if you haven't noticed, Chibi Robo is very tiny. So that's gonna basically like determine the oops. That's gonna determine a lot of getting around the house for the rest of the game. So moving around just with the control sticks, you'll find coins around called Moola. That's our currency for the game. Whenever you see the exclamation point, that just means we can inspect or use something. Also, it's a chicken, not a turkey. It's too small to be a turkey. But yeah, tell me he's just gonna explain a lot of the tutorial stuff. Also, are you guys sh serving champagne to an eight-year-old? Or maybe just soda in his fancy glass. Alright, also whenever you see that little meter on the bottom there, that means if you hold the direction, you'll climb up onto whatever you're going up against. But yeah, Chibi Roa doesn't have a mouth, so he can't eat it either. Yep, we're gonna be doing a lot of climbing in this game. Hi, Jenny's mom. But yeah, Moola is the currency of the world. There's Jenny. She's cute. There's the dog. Cow seems friendly. Most dogs, when they see something tiny running around, they'll probably want to chase it. Also, can we talk to our dad right now? Or not our dad, Jenny's dad right now. Yep. Alright, let's grab that flower, shall we? So yeah, to get that flower, we're going to need to climb up to it. There we go. Anyways, we're just going to be grabbing that flower. And stick in our inventory. So yeah, Chibi Robo, even though he is tiny, he can hold a surprisingly amount, huge amount of stuff in his head. He's bigger on the inside. Honestly, yeah, I would be really impressed if a tiny robot could stick a giant rose in his head, too. But yeah, there is fall damage in this game, so we're going to be using the chibi copter a lot, or chibi copter a lot. It's also what we're going to be using for, like, the limited amount of platforming in this game. Yep, put B use B to put anything away. So yeah, with the Chibi Copter, we can hold A to basically hover for a little bit and just go between platforms. And if we have it equipped and we fall from a high place, we'll just slowly descend safely. Like I said, there's fall damage in this game, and we're going to be going to some pretty high places. So the Chibi Copter is going to be used a lot. No, mine. Nope, it's mine now. No, but if we want to proceed, yeah, we're going to need to give her that rose. Here you go, Jenny. Happy birthday. And for that, we got happy points. And Moolah. So yeah, happy points and Moolah are going to be our basic, basic two currencies in the uh, game. Happy points are basically used for upgrades and Moolah is used to buy stuff. <sighs> Good job, Jenny. Also, wait. Oh no, there are eight uh, candles on that cake. Never mind. I miscounted. I thought there were nine. Also, is anyone going to clean up all that steam coming out of our house? That's not normal.
Also, I don't think I've ever seen an eight-year-old par or party for an eight-year-old go until like the wee hours of the morning like that. Listen, we know what we're doing. But yeah, welcome to the Chibi House. We're gonna be back here a lot. So now we are basically the 782,691 best chibi robo in the entire world. But yeah, happy points basically let us increase our rank, which gives us better battery. Battery is going to be very important, so we're going to want as many happy points as possible. Also, that means that we're better than like, what? 20, 220,000 chibi robos? What are they doing? All we did was give a little a flower to a little girl. But yeah, if we ever hit number one, we will become super chibi robo. So how we gain happy points will differ throughout the entire game, but basically anything that helps out the uh, family will give us happy points. Also, while we're here, we can save. Let's save real quick. But yeah, we can save anywhere there's an outlet, but we have to come back here if we want to buy or deposit our happy points. Alright, but before we go out, there are a few things I want to do before we go. For one thing, let me see if I can afford anything right now. Okay, here we go. So yeah, we could afford a few things. The one thing I do want to buy, like, immediately is timer 10. So basically this determines how long each half of the day is. So right now it's at 5, so morning and- or not morning, daytime and nighttime are each 5 minutes long. That's not a ton of time to do what I want to do. So I'm actually gonna- you know what, actually, mm, I'm actually gonna keep it at 5 for now. Because there's not much to do this first, like, night. But, like, once we hit, like, day one, I'm gonna change that to 10 minutes. 15 minutes is way too long to, for me, but 10 minutes seems like the perfect amount of time for now. We can adjust it throughout the game if we have to. Also, yeah, before we go, tell me you made a mess. So the main way we're gonna be getting happy points is by cleaning. So we're gonna wanna pick up all the trash we can to, uh, throw in the trash can. Also, yeah, now that we're moving around on our own, we're gonna need to deal with our plug. For the most part, if we want to move around a lot, we're gonna be want to, we're gonna want to hold on to our plug so we run a bit faster. But obviously, if we have anything equipped, we can't hold on to our plug. So we're just gonna have to drag it behind us. It's fine. But wow, they made a mess today. But yeah, this game runs on a day-night cycle, which is actually pretty important for a lot of events. There's no like specific time, it's just daytime or nighttime. So right now it's night. And that little number on the corner means how long it lasts. So right now we have the five timer. So nighttime will last five minutes. Alright, so let's do what we can then for these five minutes. Also, that's different. Let's go see what that's about. Huh. Yeah, this game is weird. Also, yeah, since Chibi Robo can't talk, Telly's gonna come in anytime we need to introduce ourselves. Also, yeah, the toys are kind of alive in this house. Whoever, apparently whoever made this game really liked Toy Story.
That is true, he is very tiny. And sneaky. Actually, it's because they forgot to build Chibi Robo a mouth. Or any type of speaker system. But yeah, unfortunately, Sophie's not going to be moving anytime soon. She is unfortunately blocked the way to the kitchen. So yeah, if we hit R, we can just see the map of the area. We can't get into the kitchen because Sophie's blocking it right now. Let's explore the rest of the living room first. Also, another thing about this game is in the lower right corner, you see our that little number ticking down. That's our battery. If that battery hits zero, we pass out and get, not, and get sent back to the uh, Chibi house. Battery is super important. Basically, everything we do, everything we use, will use a battery power. It's basically our life. Obviously, if we want to get restored, we just need to plug ourselves in, but we're going to want to keep an eye on that throughout the entire game. Battery is basically just what's going to be limiting us from doing a lot of stuff early on. Because we just can't go too far without using a ton of battery. Also, hi, toothbrush. Why is there a toothbrush here? Well, mine now. Well, we got our first uh, tool. We got Mr. Sanderson's toothbrush. So yeah, toothbrush basically will let us clean up messes. Let's clean up a little bit of a mess right now. So yeah, all we need to do is hit A and mash A to basically use it. There are other use, other tools and other uses for tools throughout the game, but basically the main purpose of the toothbrush is to clean up messes, which is fine. Cleaning up messes gives us free happy points. All right, so now that we picked up some garbage, um, let's go this way. Also, yeah, I want to make sure I pick up all the garbage I can. We won't get happy points from it until we actually throw it away, though. Also, yeah, Tal left some footprints here. Let's clean that up. That's gonna waste power, guys. Turn it off. Actually, I don't think we can turn it off. We don't know where the remote is. Also, that is an old TV. But yeah, remember when I said that someone on the development team apparently really liked Toy Story? They have their own version of Buzz Lightyear. And he is an amazing ham and I love him. Nice to meet you, Drake Redcrest. He's also a lot taller than us, but everything is taller than Chibi Robo. Well, uh, let's see what he's up to. Also, yes, he does explode every time you talk to him. Just like all heroes. But yeah, this is just normal for this house, apparently. Toys just are alive when people aren't around. But yep, first time we meet Drake Redcrest, we get something for free. 
we get our very first suit. So yeah, Chibi Robo can wear suits throughout the entire game. They all do something different. Also, no, I know how to down suits. We'll do that in a second. All right, let's do this. So yeah, costumes are also a pretty important part of this game. Let's put it on, shall we? Now we're a superhero. So suits do each do a specific thing that would basically be important in certain side quests. In terms of side quests, I think I'm gonna try to do them all, but we'll see. Eh, I don't know about truth and justice. Yeah, we want to fight for them. But time for a brief tutorial. Alright, time to learn how to pose. Also, hi Kelly. Uh, I can explain. Alright, so we need to hit Z just as he starts to pose. Yep, let's do this. The timing on this is actually a bit wonky, so hopefully I can get it the first, uh, first try. Nope, too late. Yeah, the timing on this one is kind of tight. Nope, still too late. I swear I'll get this down eventually. Oh, nope. Wow, he went really fast that time. I've got this, don't worry, Telly. Wow, you didn't even give me a chance with that one. There we go. So basically the Drake Redcrest costumes lets us pose heroically. And that's basically all it does. It's a useful ability for certain characters, though. But we are now a space hunter, apparently. A lot has happened to us. Also, yes, toys can also give us happy points. It's not just the uh, Sanderson family. So we're going to want to interact with toys as throughout the game, too. But yep, now we have our Z action for this suit. Every suit has a different Z action that do different things. Most of them have to do with certain side quests. Only a couple of them have like normal uses outside of side quests and side stories. They're kind of like the mask from Majora's Mask actually now that I think about it. There aren't as many of them though, but oh well. Also one thing the game doesn't really tell you about posing, it takes up energy, like about 30 energy. So we're not going to want to pose until we really need to. So yeah, right now we need to be super careful about posing. We might accidentally knock ourselves out if we pose too much. Also, we're not going to save right now. Alright, let's go. Alright, but now that we have the Drake Redcrest costume, remember how Sophie was basically crushing on him? Well, right now she's blocking the way to the kitchen. Let's go fix that. Well, after we pick up some garbage. We'll find a trash can later to throw this all in. And we'll also explore like the sofa and the uh, coffee table later. Right now we can't actually get up to them. Hello, garbage. But yeah, now that we can pose like a uh, Drake, let's do it for Sophie.
Now I feel bad. Well, that did open the way to the kitchen, though. So yeah, that's one thing I wanted to do right away, just so that we can access the kitchen both during the day and the nighttime. We're not gonna go there right now, though. Instead, let's look around a little bit more. We'll start exploring some of the rooms around the living room later, because right now we can access both the kitchen and the uh, foyer. We'll worry about that later, though. Actually, there's also one... Yeah, we can also access the backyard, but... Unfortunately, we can't get into the backyard yet. That... So yeah, if we get the Chibi Blaster from the shop, we can basically break the window and go outside. Which doesn't seem very helpful for a robot whose sole purpose is to make people happy. Fortunately, you cannot lose happy points for doing stupid stuff. You can only gain happy points. So property damage is fine. Anyways, there's a trash can over here. Let's go dump a few things. In you go. But yeah, we're gonna wanna make sure we collect all the garbage we can just to throw it away. Because it's a pretty good source of money and happiness. Especially early on. Later on, there are better ways to earn happy points. Also, there's a frog ring up there. If we use a uh, Y, we can basically go into first person view and just see all the items around here. And all the different collectibles we can grab. But yeah, there are a bunch of frog rings that we're going to want to grab later. There's also one other collectible that we're going to want to look at. These things. Well, not the drawers, obviously. But these weird door thi- Oh, I'm already out of energy. One second. Ah, uh, where's the nearest plug? It does cost a little bit of energy, so energy to open those doors, so I don't want to go in with only 27 energy. One second. Also, Drake, get out of my camera. Okay, let's go take a quick look at that door. I'll probably grab all the rings and stuff, like, during the day. Because one thing the game does- well, the game does kind of tell you this, but basically, nighttime is when you interact with mostly toys, and then daytime is for the uh, actual humans of the house. So we're going to be doing a lot of questing at night. Well, side quests at night. But yeah, let's, uh, take a look at this thing. Which apparently isn't standard issue for Chibi Robos. They're just kind of a thing in this house. I'm just gonna go now. Yeah. No, I am not okay. We basically went into a weird void with eyeballs everywhere. You know what, Tammy? Let's never mention this again. So yeah, these are chibi doors. Basically, all they're used for is to get free money, which is actually pretty good. I'm gonna try to discover all of them, but... Yeah, they're... Basically all weird, creepy voids like that. Also, we can take off the suit now. I don't want to accidentally pose and knock myself out. Alright. So I'm just going to head back to the Chibi House real quick, and then I think we'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Chibi Robo, we're going to spend the rest of the night looking around a bit more. I want to at least head to the foyer before the night ends. Because there's something over there that I want to unlock. But before we wrap things up, let's just quickly recharge, save, and just check our happiness points. Alright, what's my ranking now? Out of one million, I am number... Two okay, what is with these chibi robos in the lower, like, 700,000? Do they just not do anything? It's been, like, half a night, and I'm already in the top 240,000. Also, I need 12 more happiness points for a new battery. Got it. Alright. 
But with that, we'll end things here. So, next time on Let's Play Chibi Robo, we'll take a look around some more. So, till then.